a happy house filled with fun and games. Step inside the happy house anytime and play. We all love a happy house filled with fun and games. Let's explore and look around, see what we can Tim. Hi, I'm Stevie. Hi, I'm Casey. And, and together, together, we're high five! Yeah! Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm setting the table for a special party I'm having. A high five dinner. <laughs> Oh, it looks a bit small. I might need a different tablecloth. A bigger one and round, so it will cover the whole table. <laughs> chop chop! Hmm? Who was that? It's way too early for my guests to be arriving. Oh, cool. A tablecloth. Ah, oh, and it's round. It's a great fit for the table. The white plates and serviettes will look great with this purple. Chop chop! <laughs> oh, somebody's left me some green plates. Hmm. Ah, oh, well, the green plates are much smaller than the white, but together they look fantastic. Green, white and purple. Well, it's time to set the table. I'm having a dinner party. Table in my home and all my friends are coming. I won't be eating on my own. It's time for knives and forks and spoons and tablecloths and plates. I'm having a dinner party and it's going to be great. There. One, two, three, four, five plates. And one, two, three, four. Oh, I thought I had five serviettes. Doesn't matter. I've got a spare one and I'll grab the cutlery now too. Chop chop! There. Five serviettes. Oh, what a beautiful bunch of flowers. Someone must have sent them to me. I'll grab a vase to put them in. I know, these can go right in the middle of the table. <laughs> I'm having a dinner party at the table in my home and all my friends are coming. I won't be eating on my own. It's time for knives and forks and spoons and tablecloths and plates. I'm having a dinner party and it's going to be great. There, almost done. Now, 
Each person has their own knife and fork for eating dinner and a spoon for dessert. <gasps> oh, I'm missing a fork. Hmm, I thought I had five. Oh, well, I'll just go cook something delicious and look for that missing fork. Mmm, chop chop, dinner! Princess, prim and proper, and I love eating peas. Hmm. Oh, chopsticks, lovely. I'm a princess, and I love eating peas. It's my favorite dish for breakfast, lunch, and tea. The princess and the pea, come and dine with me, because I eat green peas so daintily. Oh. How about a knife and fork? I'm a princess and I love eating peas. It's my favorite dish for breakfast, lunch and tea. The princess and the pea, come and dine with me because I eat green peas so daintily. Ah, ah. Ah. Hmm. Peas, perfect for a princess. I'm all ready to make our delicious tuna noodle banana cake. What? what? Banana cake? I thought we could make a tuna noodle casserole. No, Chats. This is definitely a banana cake. Hmm. Well, how about if you read the recipe card out to me? Oh, sure thing, Kate. Cool. <laughs> now, this gives me an idea. <laughs> oh, Chats, I'm so excited to make our delicious banana cake. <laughs> <laughs> Tasty, delicious, a family favorite. It's also nutritious, and I can make it for you. Ah. <laughs> and you can make it for me. This family favorite recipe. <laughs> oh, okay, Case. So the first thing we need is two eggs beaten and a cup of milk. Okay, then. Two eggs. Hmm. Here's one. Whoa! Wow. And two. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> All right, and was it milk? Yes, a cup of milk. Okay. Whoa. Right. Well, yep, that's all mixed in. What's next? Um, so next we need two cups of flour. Okay. Oh, no, chats. We don't have any flour. Oh, that's all <sighs> right, Case. You know the recipe says you could use noodles instead of flour. What? Noodles in a banana cake? Yeah. Well, noodles oh. are made of flour, and we've got some right there. Okay, then. Well, I guess noodles could be pretty interesting. Oh. Hmm. I think there's something going on here. Um, the recipe says to give it a good stir, Case. Okay, then. Oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. <laughs> well, I guess all we need now is two bananas. Well, we can't have a banana cake without bananas. <laughs> Oh, what's so funny, Chat? <laughs> oh, sorry, Case, but are you sure you want to add bananas to that noodle casserole? Well, what? A noodle casserole? Well, I thought we were making a banana cake. Oh, this isn't a banana cake at all. It's a tuna noodle casserole. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, Chats. Well, our mixture is looking pretty delicious. Mm. How about if we save those bananas for tomorrow huh? and... We could just add this tin of tuna. <gasps> great idea, Case. <laughs> Yum! Here's a great recipe. So tasty, delicious, a family favorite. It's also nutritious and I can make it for you. Yum! And you can make it for me. This family favorite recipe. Yes! Yum! All right. 
Now, all we need to do now is put it into our baking dish. Mm -hmm. Ready? <gasps> Yum! No. Cool. Now, all we need to do is pop it into the oven. Yeah! Tuna noodle casserole cake! <laughs> <laughs> Sally's coming over for lunch today, and I'm cooking up something special from my musical menu. Hello! Oh, hi, Feli. <laughs> oh, hi, Tim. I'm really looking forward to lunch because I'm so hungry. Oh, that is great because today I'm serving up some terrific sounds. Serving up sounds? Don't you mean serving up food? Well, actually, it's a bit of both. You'll see. Oh. Have a seat here. Oh, thank you. Feli, check this out. Ta-da! It's my musical menu. Wow, looks like you've got a lot to choose from. Yeah, and not only will they taste good, but they sound good too. Take these beans, for instance. Mm -hmm. Just normal, everyday beans. But when I shake them, they make a super shaking sound. Oh, what a great sound. Shika, shika, shoo. <laughs> On my musical menu, everything's a treat. First you'll have to listen, and then you'll want to eat. It's music to my ears, and my tummy's happy too. On my musical menu, there's something right for you. Ah, <laughs> oh, those beans sound great. But what else do you have? Um, oh, I know. We've got some spaghetti. Listen to the rapper. It makes a cool, crunchy, crackly sound. I do love spaghetti. Oh, and maybe we could have it with some of this great sounding cheese. <gasps> spaghetti and cheese sounds amazing! Well, spaghetti and cheese it is. <laughs> okay, first I have to put the spaghetti in the pot. There we go. Oh, it makes a great snappy sound. Good choice, Feli. Hey, should I start grating the cheese? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Hey, we could make a band with these cool kitchen beats. Hey, yeah! <laughs> On my musical menu, everything's a treat. First you'll want to listen, and then you'll want to eat. Yum, yum, yum. It's music to my ears, and my tummy's happy too. On my musical menu, there's something right for you. Ah, 
The spaghetti is almost ready. Huh? Gee, that was quick. Yes, this musical spaghetti is going to be delicious. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> mm. I'm playing the hockey game. Yeah, I'm playing. <laughs> That's a pretty interesting way to use a hockey stick. Yeah, it's my own personal style. <laughs> But it doesn't seem to be working for me. Yeah, well, you know, those guys over there seem to be having a bit of luck. Yeah. If we're going to hit the ball like them, we're going to have to learn the right way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. Time for another Fitbit tip. Yeah! yeah. Whoa, ho, ho. Whoa! You guys know how to hit a hockey ball, don't you? Yeah! Awesome. Hey, Charlie, yeah. can you give us a demo? Yes. Awesome. So here's the Fitbit tip. We stand side onto the ball, then you step forward, just like that. Then we swing back with our stick and that's it. Oh, I get okay. it. Okay, so we step forward with our foot and swing. Here we go. Step forward with our foot and swing. <gasps> Alrighty, guys, let's play hockey. Yeah! Yeah! Mouth guards in, everyone. Hi, I found some great shapes at home in the kitchen. Vegetable shapes! And I'm going to use them to paint a picture to hang up on my wall. Now, carrots make great circle shapes. And they make some pretty cool rectangle shapes too. <laughs> and I've got some very interesting celery shapes. See, if you look at it from this way, you can see this curvy crescent shape. Cool! And I've got some potato shapes. Ah, see, I've cut a cross into this one, and this one is a nice oval shape. Now, what kind of picture can I paint using all my vegetable shapes? Well, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, a nice oval yellow shape. Lots of yellow paint. Here we go. One, two, three. Now, I wonder what they could be. Oh, I know. Three little yellow sheep. Oh, and I've got circles for head and rectangles for feet. Circle shapes and rectangles, short shapes and long. What kind of picture can I paint using all my vegetable shapes? What kind of veggie picture can I paint today? Here we go, and four more legs. One, two, three, four. There we go. We have three little yellow sheep out on a farm. Now, I think I might need a fence to keep these sheep from running away. Let's see. Oh, I know. I'll use the cross shape to make the fence. So some red paint, and let's go. There we go, sheep. A nice red fence all around to keep these cheeky sheep safe and sound. Yeah! <laughs> OK, now, let's see what can I do with the celery shape. What could I make? Hmm, OK, so a nice blue crescent and one and two. What could it be? Oh, I know. It looks a bit like a blue bird flying high in the sky. One crescent for each wing. Circle shapes and rectangles, short shapes and long. What kind of picture can I paint using all my vegetable shapes? What kind of veggie picture can I paint today? Yeah, there we go. A great farmyard picture, all made out of vegetable shapes. Perfect to hang up on my kitchen wall. Yeah!
oranges. I love the colour, I love the taste, I love the shape and I love making orange juice. <laughs> twist it this way, twist it that. hidden treasure today are pretty butterflies and if you look carefully you just might spot them now once there was a koala named Kev and he loved to cook so one day he decided to turn his home into a treehouse cafe there we go ah, Kev's treehouse cafe is open for business come on in everybody Oh, hi, guys. Have a seat here. Help yourself to some gum leaf tea and I'll go and get your lunch. <laughs> Drop into Kevin's Treehouse Cafe and sip on gum leaf tea all day. Gum leaf gumbo and gum leaf stew. Gum leaf pizza, I'll make some for you. Drop into Kevin's Treehouse Cafe. <laughs> you'll love it so much, you'll stay all day. Hey, where did everybody go? They hardly ate their food. I hope it was okay. Gum leaf gumbo. Oh yeah, that's nice. My favourite gum leaf soup. Mm, that's good. And gum leaf stew. Well, that's lovely too. Hmm. The next day, Kevin made lots of yummy gum leaf dishes. But when it was time for lunch... Hey, where is everybody? I've made so many lovely gum leaf treats. I wonder where they could be. So Kevin ambled off to find his friends. After eating a piece of gum leaf crumble, of course. Oh, Carla, there you are. I thought you were going to pop past the cafe for lunch today. Oh, hi, Kev. No, I'm having my favourite grass for lunch today. Grass for lunch? Is it nice? Oh, it's the most delicious thing in the world to me. Yeah, would you like some? Oh, thank you. I'll take some with me. Grass for lunch. Huh, that's very interesting. Grass, 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 grass. Next, Kevin went to Edwina the Echidna's home, and her lunch was even more surprising. Hi, Edwina. What are you eating there? Mmm, I'm eating ants. They're so delicious. Ants? Really? Oh, yeah. Ants are my favourite thing in the whole world. Would you like to try some? Well, thank you very much. An ant snack? Huh, this is even more interesting. Kevin was on to something. Next, Kevin went to visit his friend Katie. Hi up there. Is anyone home? <laughs> Well, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Well, I was just seeing what you were up to. Oh, well, I've just finished my lunch. A huge plate of delicious, juicy worms. Worms? Juicy and delicious? Don't you like gum leaves? Oh, no, no, no. Worms are my favourite. Well, why don't you take some back to the cafe with you? They're extra juicy and delicious. Kate, you've just given me an idea. So the next day, Kevin invited his friends to his cafe for a big surprise. Drop into Kevin's Treehouse Cafe and sip on gum leaf tea all day. 
Gum leaf gumbo or gum leaf stew. Gum leaf pizza, I'll make some for you. Welcome Welcome into Kevin's Treehouse Cafe. You'll love it so much, you'll stay all day. Look at this, a lovely ant souffle for you, Edwina. And Carla for you, a beautiful grass stir fry. And Katie, some lovely juicy worm spaghetti. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. I've never tasted grasses like this before. Oh, this is the juiciest worm spaghetti ever. Oh, this ant souffle is just heavenly. Back to, to Chef Kev and his Treehouse Cafe. Cheers! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. And so Kev's Treehouse Cafe became the best cafe in the bush. And he was always busy cooking up a storm. Now, did you spot the pretty butterflies? Yep, there they are. Well done. OK, guys, let's cook up another song. Yeah!